holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you.
sadness and the darkness of Good Friday discloses several things that should never be glossed over, lest Easter lose that miraculous character. The women disciples we know were among the very few who stayed with Jesus until the end, waiting with him until he died. They knew he was dead, that it was no illusion, as some of the governor's followers claimed. For them, as well as for all of his followers, Jesus' crucifixion and death seemed at first a crushing, disillusioning end without hope or redemption. For them, all was lost, all was dark. Despite the promises they had wanted to cling to, it appeared that Jesus and his cause had been defeated. After all, he had suffered the humiliating shame and the discrediting, re discrediting reality of death by crucifixion. Maybe his opponents were right. His death showed him to be just another deluded messianic pretender. Despite the apparent reality, the women stayed with him throughout his tragedy. The women stayed with him even after his death. Despite their despair, they went to the tomb early that morning. Yet what these broken-hearted, still faithful women found when they arrived was that the body of Jesus was not there. So they became the first to experience the frightening, awesome discovery that somehow during the night he had risen. At first, however, they did not know what to make of his absent body. Terror and amazement seized them, and they fled the tomb. These women became the first believers for whom it was not just enough to know that the tomb was empty, because for all who are discerning, the empty tomb does not prove the meaning of the resurrection. The women's experience shows us what else is necessary. It was facing Jesus' death and continuing to stay true to him afterwards that allowed them to discover the resurrection. They found that he was alive to them in a way they could never have imagined, in a way that could never end. They discovered that what the world put to death, God raised high. This is the meaning of Easter. God's love triumphing over every barrier. Easter means that no power on earth can destroy the reality that is Christ. The angel gave the women the clue that unlocks for every Christian the power of the resurrection. The angel instructed them to go and to tell the other disciples that Christ was raised and was going before them into Galilee. The angel told them that they should quit, look, quit looking for Jesus in death, but rather find him alive in a new way, in the life of the world. If they could do so, they would discover the meaning of the resurrection. They would discover that even despite our sometimes faltering lack of commitment to God, God remains committed to us in a loving, unconditional, no strings attached kind of way. Despite how much or how little we might deserve that love, the women will discover that God makes them the most precious beings in creation, people who are worth dying for. So Easter is coming face to face with the Jesus who has not just reversed the power of death, but has completely triumphed over it. 
Today, as the author of Colossians says, is the day in our faith to proclaim this fabulous news. The good news of the resurrection is that Christ is a light that overcomes all the darkness that light can entail. That light overcomes the darkness we experienced in Holy Week when we pass through vivid reminders of our human frailty and sin, reminders of how easy it is for us to be gobbled up by the power of the enemies of God. Now today, we can declare that things are different. Now we know that we have the love and light of Christ going before us and living within us. Now we can see the way and dare to bring that love and light to the darker parts of our world. Today, our prayer book allows us to begin saying as a response to the dismissal, Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now we can express once again the joy of these empowering words. Now we get to go forth from this service back to our workaday world in a renewed and transformed way. We can go forth with confidence and courage because we know that Christ went before the disciples into Galilee and he also goes before us into the world. Today, we move with the women at the tomb into a renewed life, ready to face everything with joy and filled with God's love proclaiming and showing that Christ is risen. Indeed, Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.